Hi, and welcome. This is a basic introduction tutorial to Kismet, the visual scripting system for Unreal Development Kit. My name is Jonathan Soba, and I'm a level design student at the Guildhall at SMU. Today, we'll be using the May 2011 version of UDK. Now, if you're someone who cringes at the thought of typing in lines of code to create scripted events, you might be happy to hear that Kismet doesn't work that way. It's basically scripting through flowcharts like what you might find in Microsoft Visio. You build a logic train, connect the dots, and the computer rides along. For starters, let's create a simple light switch that we can turn on and off in the game. So first, we'll need a toggleable point light. And to find that, we'll go up to the Content Browser, under Actor Classes, and here under Lights, Point Lights, Point Light Toggleable, just select that, and then right-click anywhere in the editor window. And you can see it shows up here when we right-click to add point light toggleable here. So do that. And I'll go ahead and drag this up off the floor. And if I hop in game, you can see my little room here is lit. So we know the light is here, and we know it's working. But the thing is, I don't want it to be on from the beginning. I want to be able to turn it on. So to turn it off, we're going to use Kismet. And Kismet is accessible via this green K icon here along the top row of, of icons. And this is the Kismet interface. Right now it's completely blank. And before we can do anything with Kismet, we need to call an event, uh, which is basically a wake-up call for the game engine to say, oh crap, I need to do this thing right now. Uh, you can kind of draw a comparison to real life, like when the sun rises we say, hey, it's time to eat breakfast. So we need some, some sort of impetus like that for Kismet as well. And there are all kinds of events we can call. You can right-click here, anywhere in the interface, and come down to New Event. And we need to think about when the light should be turned off. And we want it from the very beginning. So we can come down here to Level Loaded. And this event is called as soon as the level is loaded in. And what we want to play around with is this light that we just created in here. So if you select this in the Editor window, so it's green, come back into Kismet, and right-click, you'll see it shows up again. So we, we can create a new object variable, which is just a reference uh, to this actor that we just created that we can play around with in Kismet. So we'll create that. And we need one more thing. Uh, we need an action to, so that Kismet knows what to do with this light. And we want to toggle this off. So we can right click, new action, and down here there is toggle. And we don't we want just a plain toggle. And since I don't really like the positioning of this, it's a little bit too close to the light, it looks a little bit disorganized, you can hold down control, a left click, and move these around inside of Kismet to wherever you want. I'm just going to move this light down here. And there's one more thing we have to do. Uh, right now these nodes are not connected yet. Uh, but it's super simple in Kismet. All you have to do is drag from one box to another. So as soon as the level is loaded, I want to turn off this light. And just by dragging the left mouse button, I created an arrow here. And if you ever want to remove an arrow, just hold down Alt and left click. And it's gone. So one more time, I want to turn something off. And this toggle doesn't know what to turn off yet, so we need to drag from target down to the light so it knows that this light is the target of the toggle. So let's get, uh, let's get out of here and hop in game and see if it works. And my room is pitch black, which is a very good thing. Uh, except if we want to be able to find the light switch, we need to light up the room just a little bit. So I'm going to create one more point light here, just a regular point light by holding down L and left clicking. I'll drag this up off the floor. And I don't want this to be overpowering the light that we turn on, so I'm going to hit F4 for its properties. And I'm going to turn its brightness down from 1 to, let's say, 0.1, just enough to see that you know what we're doing here. And I want to make our toggle light super obvious when it turns on. So I'm going to hit F4 for its properties. I'm going to leave its brightness at 1. And I'm going to change its light color to something really obvious, like a, a dark blue. Now we're getting closer. We need to add a trigger that the player can interact with uh, so that we, we can turn this light on. So if you right-click down here, anywhere on, uh, on the surface, 
you can go down to Add Actor, and there's an Add Trigger. So click on that, and you'll see this uh, kind of you know unattractive little icon that you probably wouldn't want to your your players looking at in game. Uh, but for our purposes, we do want to see it. Um, so we're going to uh, click on the trigger, hit F4. And under display, you'll see there's a hidden option, because normally this, this is hidden from players. So we're going to go ahead and uncheck that. And now we need to connect this trigger to this light. So we're going to hop back into Kismet with the trigger selected. And once again, we can right click and it's right there. So now we can create a new event using this trigger. So you, there's, there's a few things you can do on touch, on, on damage taken, but we want, it, we want it to activate whenever the player uses this trigger by pressing E. So we're going to hit used. And we're actually almost done. We already have a toggle action. We already have our light here. All we have to do is connect this trigger to toggle. And we want to toggle it in general. So if it's on, it'll turn off. If it's off, it'll turn on. And in this case, because the light starts off, it'll turn on. Now before I test this in game, I'm going to rebuild my lighting, which is something you need to do whenever you add new lights or move them around and you want them to show up properly in the editor or the game. Okay, so now my lighting is rebuilt, so let's hop back into the play window and have a look. Here's my switch, and if I hit E to use it, the light will turn on. Now if I hit E again, it doesn't turn off. And here's the reason why. We need to hop back into Kismet and look at the properties for our trigger down here. You can see a max trigger count is set to 1, which means this trigger can only be used once, and then it's disabled. So what we want to do is change this from 1 to 0, and what changing it to 0 uh, effectively gives it an infinite count. So you can use this as many times as you would like. So let's X out of here and try this again. And it works. Very cool. Alright, now for our next video, we're going to create a key for this light switch uh, that players will have to pick up before they'll be able to use it.